If you don't like the way things look in the world around you, it's time for you to take the lead in the starring role. Stick around, let's dig deeper. It's Monday. You are listening to the Manifest on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. I am here to help you transform your mind so that you can create the best reality for yourself. We're going to get into how you can do that today. But first, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the friends that you share this with. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at Kimberly, K-I-M-B-A-L-E-Y dot com. The God in me loves the God in you. I never make plans without checking my Star 8 mobile numerology app first. Thanks to its amazing calendar feature, it allows me to always be in the right place at the right time. But don't take my word for it. Download the Star 8 mobile numerology app by Astro Numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn. You can find it on the App Store, Google Play, or by going to a Star 8, A-S-T-A-R, the number 8, dot com, or Linktree forward slash numbers in you. Now, back to the show. From the Mouth of Babes. My nieces are always putting me on to something new that I can learn from. One of the things that they shared with me was the movie, The Truman Show. They told me, you have to sit down and watch this with us. And I did, and I found it a very fascinating movie. I'm going to give you a little backstory about the movie because I'm aware that not everyone has seen this movie. But The Truman Show is a movie starring Jim Carrey. In this movie, Jim Carrey is playing or appears to be playing a regular old guy. He shows his daily routine. He gets up, he goes to work, he's married, his mom is there. In this movie, you get to see the routine of the guy. And the strange thing about it when you first watch the movie is that a lot of the key players remain the same, such as the bus driver is always the same bus driver. Well, as the movie went on, I found that there was a reason why everything remained the same. His entire life and everything he thought he knew about it actually was a television show that people were watching. So for him, it was his reality, but to everybody else, they knew that this was a television show. It looked like this. The woman that played his mom, she was not really his mom. She was an actress. The woman that played his wife, she was an actress. His children, they were actresses, even down to the bus driver. The bus driver was an actor too. So all along, he thinks he's living a normal life, but he doesn't even realize that he was born just to create this television show. I understand how this movie can seem a little bit far-fetched to some people, but it's really closer to reality than a lot of people know. While this message is for everybody, it is mostly for those who are stuck in the blame stage of consciousness or spiritual development. And I say that because most people are still stuck in this stage. That stage of consciousness or spiritual development, whichever you choose to call it, is that stage where 
you search for someone or something to blame for everything that you're going through. That stage kind of looks like this. I can't get this because this won't happen. Or I can't do this because I don't have that. Or somebody is standing in my way. In order to get past that stage or grow past that level, the key is to understand this. You are responsible for everything that happens in your world. Here's why. Your mind is a projector. A projector is simply one that projects. So if the mind is a projector, what is it projecting? Your mind is projecting whatever is on your mind at the time. And this projection is what goes on to become your reality. Your subconscious mind is a warehouse that stores thoughts, beliefs, emotions, things that you've learned many years ago. And these things are constantly flowing through your mind, whether you're aware of them or not. These are the things that projects out to reality to create it. So if you're the person that's looking at the glass half empty, then everything you see in your life will be half empty. It's important to know that everything in nature happens in cycles. Your mind is no different. So if your mind gets stuck on that glass half empty, then the glass will continue to be half empty until you do something to change it, until you change your way of thinking, until you change the way you perceive the reality around you. Just think about Truman. He continued to see the same thing day in and day out because that's all he ever knew. When he started to learn that things were different than what he believed them to be, then his reality started changing. What this is really saying to me is that your life and the world around it is just a reflection of what's going on in your mind. So it is important for you to, number one, have a healthy mindset. If there's an area in your life that you feel like you've been trying to work on and it's not getting any better, look at that area and find out from that area, what is this reflecting about me mentally? What does this situation say about what's going on in my mind? If your reality seems stressful, you should be asking what type of stress is going on in your mind. You get it all wrong when you try to ease the symptoms instead of trying to find the cure. Meaning, you can't clean up the mess outside until you clean up the mess inside. This is your show, your stage, your movie. You're the starring role. However, if things are not the way you wish them to be, you need to take the lead in that starring role. When symptoms show up in the world around you, it's just letting you know that there's something within that needs to be cured. Make it a practice to be aware of the symptoms that show up in your life. Make it a practice to know what it is outside of you that you don't like so that you can go within to fix those things. That's a lot to think about. But you know, there's one more thing that I learned from this movie, The Truman Show. Truman seemed to have the perfect life. But in the end, he found out that his life wasn't as perfect as he thought it was. This is the case for all of us. Life will never be perfect. Life will never be exactly what you want it to be. But what life is and should always be is a work in progress. Your mind is a projector. What you see in your life and the things that are happening around you are a projection of what's already happening in your mind. When you change your mind, you change your life. 
Whenever you find something that you don't like about life, you can always change the script. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's prepare for meditation. If you are driving, please, this is not the time to meditate. Download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find your sacred space, the space that is distraction-free, comfortable, safe, the one in which you can relax and focus on your breathing. Enjoy your meditation. Thank you. 